I'm Creative Cramble, back with another one. Yeah, what I've got there is uh, some square edged uh, skirting there. I'm going to start off on this long wall here. I'm going to do a scarf joint there, join the skirting up there, carry on through. The skirting will butt up to the wall in there. Then the other skirting will butt up to that one, but if I've got to scribe out, if there's any, the gap's too big, then I will. It'll carry on through here. I've probably got a scarf joint there as well. I'll show you how to do one of them. Then what I'm going to do is butt up into this corner here, and then return that. Might need to do a scribe. Then I've got an external mic there. Return, butt into this wall here. Looks like I might have to do a bit of chopping out there as well. That's just sticking out a little bit there on the plaster. Uh, come through there, small little return there uh, with an external mic there. Again, butt into that wall. Come in with the skirting through there. Might need to do a scribe on that. We'll see how it goes. Through here. This one's quite easy, it's a straight run all the way through. Then what I've got is an external mic there and a return. But the first thing I do before I start skirtings or uh, just basically set up the air chop saw here is get it level. So looking that way, nice and level that way, and also that way as well. That's what I do first, set up these air chop saw, make sure it's all level, I'm all set, ready to go. Let's get a bit of nice uh, square skirt on there. Yeah, so what I want to do is fix the skirt back there on this long length of wear wall first. Just like that. What I'm going to be using is, um, I've just got some uh, grab adhesive there, that's the Gorilla type. Uh, that's really good as it happens. And all I'm going to do is put the grab adhesive on the back of the skirting. This stuff's really good, you don't need a lot of it. And then we'll just flip that over. What I want to do is just give that a bit of a helping hand. Also, I need to get down as well. And then, with my nail gun, I'm going to work my way along like that, about every 450. All I'm doing there is just getting that right down to the floor. Okay, slight little gaps in there, but that's that's just the plaster. We'll get that with the corking. That's fine. And then all we'll be doing is bring that scarf joint there into that one. Just like that. I'll do the same. Grab a daisy that one. Nail that one as well. And that's gonna look something like that. Absolutely perfect. By the time I rub that down a little bit, a little bit of filler in there. Cork all up at the back. Lovely job. I'm going to carry on through there, get that back wall in as well, and then just work my way around. Me doing this just gives me better measurements when I'm measuring from the, from the corner there to the other wall and stuff like that. So that's the next, my, my next little process there. That looks pretty good. Yeah, so I'm all good in the corner there, nice and square. 
had a packer off the wall a little bit there, just where the plaster is um, a little bit off the wall there. But it gets better as it goes along. And what I'm doing now is that scarf joint. So what I've got there is a 45 degree uh, uh, cut there. I'm just going to take a measurement to that back wall there. I'll go to the longest point of the 45 degree. Uh, that being 725. Because what I've got to do is flip the board over and then that'll work nice. Uh, going in the face of that, keeping the uh, the painted side uh, out. So that being the painted side, what I've got to do is flip that over. I measure seven twenty-five. I'll cut that through with forty-five degrees. And that should be perfect then for that last bit in there. I don't know if you can see there, but it's just trying to get somewhere perfect there. That's pretty good. So what I'm doing, I'm just flipping that back round there now like that. And that should fit in there perfectly. There you go. Like a glove. Nice scarf joint there coming through. I'll rub that down. A little bit of filler in there, rub it down again. And you will never see it. So yeah, so I'm gonna continue round again. Obviously I'm gonna put the next one to that one. And then I've got an external mic there, return and then carry on through. That's a good joint. Yeah, so I did have to uh, chop a little bit of plaster out there just to get the, uh, the skirt back a little bit better than what it was. That's gonna fit like that. And I'm also gonna return up there with a, with a nice 45 there on an external miter. Can't do much about that there, really. I'll fill that with cork that gap there, um, it's not running square. But what I do on the external miters as well, I'm gonna use some glue, and um, and then we've got air activator as well. Just gonna glue these joints. I'll glue these up on their uh, external miters. Just keeps them in place. Bit of glue. Bit of activator, and then what we're going to do is stick them together. You've only got about 10 seconds to work with this stuff, so you've got to be quick. That's it. Gonna hold that in place. Okay, so that's all glued up now. <clears throat> like I said, it literally takes 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds in. That's all the time you got. That'll go in place like that. That's cushy. Cool, and then I'll just put that one up there to that one. I'll get it right there. Looking good in the corner there as well. That's how I do my uh, external miters. I always glue the, uh, the external miters.
yeah, so I've got a little bit of a gap there. Um, it's not quite true. And all you've got to do is uh, really scribe that in. You just get your pencil. I'm on that pencil alongside that, um, that skirt in there, on there. And just run my pencil up there. And that will give me the mark where I need to scribe off. I'll just turn that round. And all I'll do is just put that through like that. There weren't much in it, but you know, close them gaps up a little bit. That's a lot better. Nicely scribed in there. Good to go. Yeah, so I've got this length in there now. All marked up, ready to go. But coming to this uh, architrave here, and we've got a square edge there. I just want to take the edge off that uh, down there so it's not so sharp there looking. Um, just take the edge off there. All I'm going to do is, I've got to set it 45 degrees, but I just want to just nip the end off that, just so it looks a lot better. Don't need a lot. Something like that. Just takes that edge away from, from the, the architrave there. That looks a lot better. Once that's painted up. Lovely. Okay, this is the best way to mark off your external mitres. So I've got my corner there. I've got my skirt all in place there. I'm just gonna mark off where I'm gonna be cutting. So I've just allowed a couple of mill there really. I mean, I don't know how long, you know, how this wall sort of lies there. It looks pretty square, but I'm just going to mark it off there. But you're not going to be cutting it on the, on the first side there. You're going to be cutting it on, you know, the opposite side. So there's my mark. I'll even scale that through just to give me a guide. The chop saw's pretty good. And what I'm going to do is get that in position there on the line. That's looking pretty good. do is put that back in place you got your 45 ready there all I'm going to do is take measurement out on the longest measurement measurement I'll be from there five or five that's the wrong bit Okay, five or
Now we go straight on your corner there. And that is perfect, absolutely perfect. So that's how you get your mitres sorted on your external mitres. That is good to go. Get some grab adhesive on that, pin that in. It's a good job done. Yeah, nice scarf joint there. Well pleased with how the skirt turned out here. Everything's looking really, really good. The mat is there, absolutely perfect. Okay, I've got a little bit of air flow in there to do with a bit of cork in there, but nothing too drastic. Another external mat there, absolutely perfect. Nicely scribed in there as well. All finishing flush. Bit of corking to do. Brother all, well pleased how the skirt turned out. All nicely done. A bit there as well from the square edge there. Just cut that edge off there a little bit. Just takes the edge off that uh, square edge there. You know, looked a little bit uh, too square. That's a better job. Overall, well done. Got to get your stuff away. Get that packed away now. Happy with uh, the skirting. 100% pleased with that. All the nail holes there, I'll just uh, fill up with a uh, filler. Bit of corking to do. Bit of filling, rub it down. And then uh, we can just sort of paint those skirts as well. And they look like an absolute treat. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Turn on notifications. And I'll see you in the next one.